Hello, I am Josh, and I'm here with uh, Dennis Daniel at Cutie Mark Con. Uh, Dennis, good to meet you. Oh, hey, nice, nice to meet you, Josh. Hi, what's, what's new? What's the word? Is bird the word? Uh, it's today, if that's what you want it to be. Yeah, well, yeah, well just, just remind your fans that I, I'm not just Dennis Daniel anymore. No, 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 no. See, what's happened is Dennis Daniel has gone through a metamorphosis, if you will. Here, you know, Dennis Daniel, popular talk show host of the Dennis Daniel Show, Every week on blogtalkradio.com. Might be Dennis Daniel at, at another instance, but uh, at Cutie Mark Con, where ponies reign supreme, I'm simply known as my original persona, Mike Check, host of the very, very popular. See, I got what got. This is going to be great. Canterlot Radio. Every Wednesday at 3 o'clock on blogtalkradio.com, part of the All Taste Explosion Radio Network, a featured show and network on Blog Talk Radio. Check that in there. And there I am right there. That's me, my little pony. My little pony! <laughs> my little pony, I said! And see, I got, I, got, I got the little cutie mark, the little microphone right there. I got the got the nice hair going. It, it was either that or use Truffle Shuffle. I, I think I like Truffle Shuffle. I think Truffle Shuffle's my, my pony alternative persona, which is really weird because she's voiced by Kathy Westluck, who was on our program in 2012. So that's kind of a... a Oh, weird. That's kind of one of the conspiracy theories that I'm talking about in my uh, new panel, My Little Brony at Cutie Mark Con this weekend. Awesome. So, I, I assume you have some questions. Oh, theoretically. I mean, you can keep talking if you want. It's more, more, than, more than entertaining. Oh, this, is your, this is your interview, so, so go right ahead. All right. Well, um, if that's the case, um, how's the spring between you between uh, Ohio A&G and Cutie Mark Con? Oh, they have been treating me fantastic. If, if you noticed, uh, last year or, um, or in A&G, Ohio, I was a member of staff. I don't know why, but uh, <laughs> this year at Cutie Mark Con, I'm a guest. That's like, wow. I'm wondering, did the con chair lose a bet? <laughs> well, uh, how's it feel to be a first-time guest at the convention? I gotta say, it's it's very very daunting. Very, I mean, you look at the guys that are here. You got Brian Drummond, who I grew up watching as a uh, Vegeta on Dragon Ball Z. Uh, you got Richard Ian Cox, who everyone knows is Inuyasha, one of the of the biggest anime to come out of Japan. You got Matt Hill, who is my all-time favorite uh, lump, Ed, from Ed and Eddie. I love that guy. Had him on the show uh, last year for my birthday. It was a lot of fun. He's he's really cool. I mean, you've got a lot of great people. Heck, you got, uh, you got Rena Chan, who's done some work for our show, and she's a very class act and voice actor, and she's got she's got a really good good future ahead of her and then you got my uh, fellow media guests emily jones from pegasus sisters live 10 p.m eastern standard time on everfree network so don't tell her i didn't plug her <laughs> and you also have a uh, demos fox a very popular musician and that guy that guy's funny we just got done doing uh, bronies and broadcasting our uh, panel on how uh, we can get uh, how we got our start in um broadcasting and uh how the uh field of media has affected how my little pony is of uh, the scene and, of course, tonight I've got My Little Brony and My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic panel. And I just got done doing the Ponywood Squares or the Bronywood Squares. We're still on the, on the name. We're trying to get that. I've been doing the Hollywood Squares at A&G Ohio for about uh, three years now. True story, true story about that. Uh, back in 2011, I was, uh, I was a nobody back then. I, I knew these guys from the random battle groups that they used to do at Sugo in Ohio. And uh, the concierge, Jason, comes to be like, hey, Dennis, you want to host Hollywood Squares? And I'm dressed in a T-shirt and sweatpants. And I'm like, R -r really? I'm like, all right. And uh, this is back when we had guests like Wendy Lee and Quentin Flynn, which were really awesome. And what happened uh, was they loved it. They were like, like Dennis, you were great. Can you uh, come back and do it next year? I'm like, sure. So I, I become a main staple at, uh, at AG Ohio and Cutie Mark Con with my hosting of the Squares. And I, as you can hear, I'm a little pony. A little horse. I, I I was I was trying to go for for the for the for a good joke there. I, I'm a horse from the the uh, wrestling is magic tournament. I just screamed my lungs out. I love all these pony references. Like you can fit pony into everything. Well, when the interview's done, you can say the buck stops here. <laughs> <Ayy>. <laughs> um, <laughs> how did you come up with um? How did you come up with your pony world name, Mike Check? Well. If you haven't noticed, I'm a DJ. I'm a radio personality, or an aspiring radio personality. I'm Cincinnati's next big radio personality. Well, now that's now America's next big radio personality. Emphasis on big. <laughs> and uh, Mike Check, well, I was um, I was spitballing ideas for a pony 
for my uh, show Carolot Radio with my friend Cedric, and we're like, well, do you got to come up with a couple cool DJ name? I'm like, well, how about Mike Check? And I'm like, that's a good name. And it just stuck to it. I, I used the uh, DeviantArt popular pony generator to generate a rough draft of what Mike Check looks like. And then uh, last month, I actually had a uh, Mike Check uh, commissioned by a very popular uh, vector artist in New Zealand. And he brought Mike Check to life. He looks just like he came out of the show. He, and uh, I've also got a high risk cutie mark. And I figure, you know, if I'm starting an all new show, I need a pony persona. I need a pony that gets the people, can be. Can, could be one of the ponies you could see on Friendship is Magic. And I figure, why not, you know, why not try to import myself? I could have done that with Truffle Shuffle, but that's already taken, so mic check, it is. And I, pretty much as I say, is the rest is history. Gotcha. Uh, you've interviewed several voices in the My Little Pony world. Uh, tell us about some of your favorite ones. Oh, man, I've interviewed a lot of great MLP voice actors. I think my all-time favorite has so far has been Kathy Westlock, who plays Spike the Dragon. Speaking of, uh, that, that was my uh, shampoo uh, text tone. If uh, if uh, let me uh, let me see if I can play that for you. you guys. You guys will love this. This is so funny. Um, I told her in, in high school I had a crush on shampoo when I was when I was in high school, and uh, she goes, uh, "Well, I think shampoo has something to say to you, Dennis." And, and she plays this. Dennis, shampoo will take you to date. And I literally lost it i was like yes yes packers and then and then and then without missing a beat uh, later on during the uh during the uh, end of the interview we, we take some listener questions and she and this guy wants her to say cedric shampoo take you today and i go oh shampoo i'm taking you today and she goes ah yeah dennis take them today but this don't bring me chocolate and it was like it's valentine day you know and i'm like oh shampoo you're killing me uh, break my hip, break my hip, shampoo, break my hip. But um, yes, she was a lot of fun. Oh, let me get your mic back. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's your mic. It's your mic. You're having a good time. I yeah. Like this. I, 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 another one I think is one of our best known interviews is our interview with uh, Trevor Duvall, who many know as Iron Will. Uh, actually, before our interview, no one knew who Iron Will's voice actor was. Everyone assumed it was Hercule from Dragon Ball Z. But we broke the curtain and we broke the wall actually on that and. We get flooded like, he's her, he's her. Iron Will, awesome man, you did it, great job, funny out who who this guy was, is incredible, and of course it was a lot of fun, and you know Trevor's a very nice guy, he's very gifted. Okay, another one, Matt Hill, you know we we didn't talk a, a lot about Soren, we did talk about it a little bit near the end of the interview, but we had to talk about Ed and Eddie. He's he, he every five minutes it was just something as Ed, and I was dying laughing. Uh, then to help promote Cutie Mark Con, and uh, you know, we started interviewing some of the voice actors that were supposed to come here. And uh, one, the first one was, of course, Marika Hendricks, who everyone knows as Gilda the Griffin. And of course, I know her best as Revy from Black Lagoon. And I'm like, she's a badass right there. And you just can't, you know, she's one of the very few women that are, you know, just like the, one of the guys. And then in um, uh, February, uh, March, we interviewed uh, Brenda Critchlow, who many know as the mysterious Zakora the Zebra. She didn't rhyme a lot, but I, I did. I did some rhyming. And then uh, last month, we got to interview uh, Big Mac Tosh Peter New, and we had what we call the Dennis Daniel Show drinking game, where we uh, you take a sip of cider every time either me or Peter said, hey, "Yep." <laughs> I believe the uh, count went up to uh, thirty-five. A lot of cider. Yes, yes, and we're trying to get some guests here lined up to be on the show. We're actually getting ready to approach episode 100 of the Shrimp Cast, which is our podcast. We've been doing it for about five years now, so this is this is it feels like a long time coming, but it's really cool that we've hit 100, and we want to get either uh, Richard Ian Cox, Sam Vincent, or Andrea Lipman. I think Andrea Lipman would be a lot of fun because we just break out the party cannons, and it, I think that'd be great, but. You know, we're getting ready for our big summer season on, on the show. It's the summer of Bigger Biggerness 3, and we are officially on the road to the 20th anniversary of Otakon. We have been accepted for press, and that's really cool. So we get to go back and cover the con because they, they liked us so much last year. And it's the, and the only way that we can celebrate us going to Otakon is by breaking out the, the big guns. I mean, in past summers, we've had Charles Martinet, the voice of Mario and Luigi, we had uh, Nicole Oliver, who's Princess Celestia. We had uh, Christian Potenza, who's Chris McLean from the Total Drama series. Uh, we've had um, Yuri Lowenthal, who we know as Sasuke, and Ben Ten. 
again, summer is is about big things happening on the Dennis Daniels show, and of course, you're not going to find it anyone else around Blog Talk Radio that brings out the the big guns like the Dennis Daniels show and the All Taste Explosion. Awesome, awesome. You sound like you're having a pretty fun time in this whole life right now. I'm trying to, trying to. That's, that's the thing. I try. It's it's tough, but I know I can do it. Oh, fair enough. Um, new series of My Little Pony. It's caught on so well with so many ages. Do you have any theories on the why or how? Well, actually, it's one of the things we talk about in, in my panel, My Little Brony. It's, uh, we talk about the, the appeal that the show has. Let, 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 I mean, first off, you gotta look at the, uh, at the, at the character designer, Lauren Faust, who's worked on Fosters, Powerpuff Girls, and shows like that, who's, uh, for having her in there, you know, she can connect to the childhood, childhood masses and the young at heart. And you know, create characters that will withstand the tests of time. And My Little Pony, you know, it, it offers something for everybody. I mean, we look at it at the day and age. You know, this world's full of war. It's full of economic strife. People are, you know, criticizing you for for being a certain sex or, or like or having a certain preference or, or being a certain race. My Little Pony doesn't do that. You know, and I think it's a refresher lesson on 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 the being a great human or being a great person. You got, I mean, you learn so much about what you, I mean, a lot of people say that a lot of stuff that, that watching the show makes you immature. Well, I guess if believing in yourself, having faith in your friends and believing that you can do anything you set your mind and heart to is immature, I don't want to grow up. <laughs> that's, that's real, that's a really good outlook on that. I don't know. I've, I've always wondered that just in general, like, cause I have so many friends that are, are bronies. I have, fr- I have brony friends and like. That. Well, that's what I was wondering. Like, what, do you, what is your what is your thoughts on the fan base of bronies? Because like, it kind of weirded me out at first. But I mean, I've gotten so used to, it and they're all they're all nice. So I was like, I don't do whatever. You're you're happy. You're nice. What do you think? This much, it's not like the other like your other fandoms. You know, the the Trekkies or the or the, or the otaku or the furries. It's different because bronies want to promote friendship. They won't badmouth you. They won't bash you. They won't make fun of you. You know, you've got. You know, there are so many people out there who, who will make fun of you, and I, I know this all too well. I've actually been featured on some of them. Oh, that's not as good as the... Uh... <laughs> Sorry, Andrew Francis just tweeted me. I like your case, by the way. Oh, yes. It's a Game Boy for him. Yeah, there you go. Playing with power. <laughs> but um, uh, what... Um, what uh... Hang on, I'm going to mute that so no more interruptions. But what... Uh, what the... Yeah, I, like I said, I, I've been featured on sites like 4chan and Cats on Mars for different reasons. But you know, the bronies will never say a mean, disparaging thing about you. They they will, you know, they'll show love and compassion. If they if, if, you, if they find something that you think you can do better, they will gladly tell you without being hurtful or mean. And you know, it, it's it's amazing. You know, they don't want to they don't want to prove that they're the better they're the superior race. They want to promote friendship. And it, and and it's been a long time since we saw a group like that. I mean, cosplayers they've gotten kind of nasty, and, and and just all the drama that falls at, at conventions because of cosplayers, you know, makes it difficult to enjoy a convention. But here at a convention like Cutie Mark Con, the main lesson is to enjoy the love for My Little Pony, which is the love for friendship and magic. And if that's stupid, I'd rather be an idiot than be a, I'd rather be an idiot than than a uh, intel, intellectual who can't who's abandoned uh, his humanity and decency to go with the in crowd. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, what does the rest of, your hold, uh, rest of the year hold for you and uh, any uh, upcoming projects or events you want to talk about? Oh, yeah. Well, um, I see on there you, you want to talk about, uh, about my new show, Canterlot Radio. You can talk about all you want. Cause all right. Yeah. Anyways. Canterlot Radio, uh, you know, Wednesdays at 3 o'clock on blogtalkradio.com. <laughs> um, and uh, well, what we do is it's the first show on Blog Talk Radio to be by the bronies for the bronies. Each week on the show, we feature the very best brony content around. We feature music made by bronies, poetry made by bronies. We even read a, a fan written letter to Princess Celestia to end the show. And we, we try to be entertaining as well. Of course, I was talking about this in our bronies and broadcasting panel the other night. You know, a good show for My Little Pony features both entertainment and information. So we do a new segment called The News Stable, where we read some of the highlights that are, are making sites like Equestria Daily and Derpy Hooves News. Uh, we try to, um, you know, get, you know, get the bronies into, in, you know, engage. We're not, we're not the diehard bronies that a lot of people are, so we're more for the lighthearted brony. We don't, you know, take, you know, we don't take everything with a grain of salt. We don't try to, you know criticize anything but uh we, we do try our best to make our shows entertaining 
and uh, educa- and not educational, but informative. And we've got we've actually doing pretty good. We've, we're averaging about 1,900 listeners a month with the show. And we're, uh, we're actually in talk with uh, several uh, network stations to have uh, be an affiliate for their show, their stations. Uh, one we're talking to is a Ponyville Live, which uh, features uh, shows like Bronyville, which is a very popular podcast and live stream. And, and apparently they like what we have to offer. And I, I, and I, and you know, I've been I've been doing this for five years, and I've been trying my hardest to you know get the name out there, get Dennis Daniel and Mike check out. And I think it's now starting to come into fruition. Uh, we are planning some new stuff. We're trying to get the fans more involved. One thing we're, uh, we're trying our hand at is a um, radio drama for Canterlot Radio. It's now time for the continuing adventures of Mike Check, P.I., Pony Investigator, doing a doing a film noir like a... It was a dark, rainy night in Ponyville. And I was just finishing in a case of cider. I needed a new case. That's when she walked in. The pink hair, those big blue eyes... The cutie mark that said, "Be kind, I'm gentle." It, it, that's for us for Fluttershy. We actually got a really great uh, upcoming voice actress to play Fluttershy, and she's really good. Uh, we're, we are working on several uh, several stories right now. The first one I want to do is the case of Princess Celestia's missing emeralds or the diamond in the muff. <laughs> muff like like muffin. Gotcha. It, 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 it'll, it'll have a great it'll have a great uh, great ending. But again, we're also working on uh, the case of the missing of the vanishing cutie marks, and we're getting uh, we're getting uh, members of our audience to go get involved in these and do voices for us so we can record this. So you know, I, I've I have not seen a film noir uh, My Little Pony radio drama yet. So maybe maybe like like a great one like the, like Dick Tracy or the Green Hornet, you know, try one to try our hand at that, see how it goes. We're also trying a, a new segment called uh, Getting to Know Your Pony, where we uh, talk with some of the or or Pony Talk where we talk with some of the famous ponies of Equestria. We're trying to get some voice actors and actresses from from the YouTube channels to, uh, you know, voice them. I, I, the first one that people want to hear apparently is Vinyl Scratch, so we're going to have to try to get that. Uh, the girl that does, uh, I, think it's, I think it's a No More Whacking. She does a really good Vinyl Scratch. Go try to get her on there, and she'd be like, Hey, Dennis, what up, man? Ow. <laughs> you know, talk about having a having a... A turntable in her playpen when she was a little filly, and then uh, at the end she gives Mike Chick a gift and it's like a little puzzle cube and she goes, "Oh, it's a, it's a miniature bass cannon," and then which, which blows them back into the wall and they were like, "Wow, it's a great gift." And uh, yeah, we're trying something like that. We're trying, you know, we're testing the waters. If if they like it, we'll continue it. If they don't like it, we'll, it'll be a once in a while thing. We're always trying to push the envelope with radio in My Little Pony. And, of course, that's why, we, because we love our fans, we want to get them involved in the show. We've got all kinds of great people who are just trying to get their name out there, just like us, who may need that a little additional push. I understand. Thank you. Um, is there anything specific you want to say to the listeners of the Dennis Daniel Show or the Canada Lot Radio that you just didn't cover? Sure. And- Sweet. I love I love the cell phone banter here. We here at the All Taste Explosion, Dennis Daniels Show, and Canterlot Radio wish to thank our fans for their continued support and love for the program. Okay, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just messing with y'all. You guys continue to help support the show. I've been going through some stuff right now that just has been giving myself a one per- pony pity party. Try saying that. Try saying that three times fast. I'm I'm not, and uh, you know I'm try. I I really work hard on the show to make it the best that it can be, like no show ever was. Dun dun dun, and um, of course we do it because we love you guys. If there's someone you want to see on the sh- on the Dennis Daniel show, be sure to drop me a line at alltasteexplosion at gmail dot com, or post on our Facebook wall at uh, Dennis Daniel Show or follow me on Twitter at the Dennis Daniel. And if there's something you want to see for Karen Lot Radio, uh, like us on Facebook at Karen Lot Radio. Follow us on Twitter at Canter Lot Radio. Uh, send me an email at Karen Lot Radio at gmail.com. And if, I, if, you, if, you, if you see me at a convention and you want to come talk to me, I'll be pretty impressed. <laughs> but um, again, you guys are the reason that I, I get behind that microphone each and every week and talk my heart out i may not always have the smartest thing to say or the most eloquent thing to say but uh, again you guys getting involved makes it all worthwhile and uh, i'll see you at uh, one of these big conventions in the near future and if i see you at otacon 
please don't be afraid to come talk to me. I am very approachable. I'll shake your hand, sign something for you, call your friend and prank call him. Uh, I, I just can't loan you money if you get in trouble with bail. All right. Um, I think that's everything, Dennis. Uh, it was a great. I loved interviewing you. You make everything so oh, easy. Oh, stop it. I'm sure you, you got, make everything I'm easy. Sure you got plenty of other people to go interview besides me. Of course I do, but I don't think I'll enjoy him as much as you. I might. Who knows? Well, I try my best. And, uh, and so I guess uh, signing off for uh, Josh here for Anime on Location. This is uh, Dennis Daniel reminding you to keep your stick on the ice.